Bears to close its doors, the Toronto Maple Leafs can reflect back on a legacy of goaltending greats who simply shut the door. Brave men who defied that thin red line and provided a franchise with net worth. It's the end of an era and decade, but the tradition of excellence in Nets continues. Curtis Joseph gives Toronto yet another superhero, a masked man, a protector against all pucks, where never the twine shall meet. From Timmins to Toronto once came Barilko, Mahovlic and Nevin, and Steve Sullivan, the Leafs may have discovered another gold mine, a career that might have gone underground, but is now above board and in recent weeks, scoreboard. And Gary Roberts is a former flame whose career seems snuffed out. But flickering hope and intense desire to overcome the odds revitalized his NHL dream. And today, Gary Roberts is a cane who is more than proven able. On the eve of its closure, the Gardens bids farewell to the expansion era. It's Carolina at Toronto tonight on TSN. Thanks to Paul Hendrick for setting the scene. The Leafs and the Carolina Hurricanes are set to do battle at Maple Leaf Gardens. And history is on everybody's mind for uh, the entire week leading up to the last game on Saturday against the Chicago Blackhawks. Good evening once again. I'm Dave Hodge with Bob McKenzie at our TSN location here at the Gardens tonight. Above all, this is a hockey rink. It's ice. It's lines painted on it, boards and seats. And uh, for a lot of people, there has never been a place quite like this and never will be again. And maybe the last word should come from the Gardens itself. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's starting lineup for your Toronto Maple Leafs. On defense, number three, Sylvain Cote. On defense, number 34, Brian Burrard. At left wing, number 19, Frederick Modine. At center, number 13, Matt Sundy. At right wing, number 32, Steve Thomas. And starting in goal, number 31, Curtis Joseph. Ladies and gentlemen, each month the Molson Cup is awarded to the Outstanding Maple Leaf based on the three-star selections. Presenting the Molson Cup Award to the January segment winner, Steve Thomas, is Pat McElhaney from Molson Breweries. Pat is joined by Alyssa Freeman of the Heart and Stroke Foundation. Steve is donating his Molson Cup Cash Award of $1,000 to the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Ontario. Congratulations, Steve.
Ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise and join Lorraine Lawson in the singing of our national anthems. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light We're so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the barrelless fight All the ramparts we washed were so gallantly streaming Molson Leap Hockey on TSN is brought to you by Molson Canadian I Am. The grand old lady on Carlton Street is down to her second last Leaf game, number 2,328 to be played at the corner of Church and Carlton. And we have a pair of 31-year-old netminders tending the twine tents this evening. Arders Urbe playing in his 38th game this year after 41 all of last season. And at the other end of the rink, he leads the NHL and wins with 24. He's 8-5-1 lifetime versus the Hurricanes and Whalers. Curtis Joseph 